Hey guys, another challenge, Coder White. In this case, we have a coin determiner, a medium difficulty. Again, on this challenge, we'll be determining the smallest combination of a coin to, uh, for given output. So, yeah, real world problem out there. But again, it's for exercise and again, preparation for, uh, for interviews. So, again, if you like this content, please subscribe, like it, and again, let me know in comments if any specific implementation you would like to see uh, languages included. So yeah, let's roll. Did I? I didn't click. Yeah, now it's going. So yeah, coin determiner. We have co a function coin determiner, so it's input none. Uh, take input uh, which will be integer uh, ranging from 1 to 250 uh, and return the integer output that will specify uh, least numbers of coins uh, that when added equal the input integer. Uh, uh, coins are based on a system as follows. Uh, there are coins uh, representing in the integer 1, 5, 7, 9 and 11. Okay, so we don't have usual kind of coins, so we have a different subset. Uh, uh, so, for example, if num is 16, then output should be 2, because you can achieve the number 16 uh, uh, with coin 9 plus 7. Uh, if num uh, is 25, then output should be 3, because you can achieve 25 with uh, either 11, 9, 5 coins uh, or with 9, 9, 7. So again, this is another good example. I kind of like it when they provide some kind of little bit hints and additional uh, uh, description. So again, forget about real world problem, as I mentioned before, that it's not kind of most probably real coins. Maybe it's some part of the world it might be, but, uh, but doubtly. Uh, also, they saying that, hey, you can use the same coins out there. So it's not like you have only that set. So again, as we discussed, it's so six. It outputs two. So yeah, what we do, like uh, five and yeah. Uh, and one will do it. 16, we just uh, discussed it, it will be like exercises, it will be 9 and 7. So we got 16, so again it will be 2. And the idea is that we will keep adding. We will be able to add more than one coin. So yeah, let's dive into kind of solutions. There's again numbers of way how it can be implemented. But yeah, let's see what uh, we can do here. So again, as I mentioned, there's many ways we can implement this. It's most probably most generic, not using any specific uh, uh, function like math function. There is uh, a, a lot of that can definitely help out uh, from that perspective. Again, th uh, this function, uh, but let's go through this implementation. This function uh, use a series uh, of while loops uh, to determine minimum numbers of coins required to adapt uh, uh, to the input integer. It uh, starts with subtracting 11 uh, from the input integer uh, as many times as possible, then uh, 9, uh, 7, then 5, and finally 1. The function keeps track uh, of numbers of coins, uh, use it to make uh, the requirement sum using a variable num uh, named count and returns count uh, when uh, all uh, while loops have been executed. Here's the code and with commands added. So just make sure that uh, we kind of go through general explanation to so yeah we'll initialize so definitely this is count that will return after that we'll subtract 11 so we think like if it's more than uh, 10 means 11 included we can do this access uh, calculation if not we'll just go through again through different loops so again we divide by 11 if it's more than one so good, we will take it and we will keep a uh, reminder, uh, we will keep this reminder uh, here. Uh, so we will keep adding, if not all, uh, else. Uh, uh, Apologies for uh, phone ring. So yeah, rolls, they put phone on mute. So yeah, let's keep rolling uh, uh, with the rest. So we have subtraction by 11, so we 
kind of have the same implementation with 8. Uh, there is no logic only except like yeah, 7, 9 and such. Uh, also we have here for 5 and just for 1. Right away it's a matter most probably introduce the functions that kind of will be doing kind of at least a similar logic here and most probably here. But again, just refactor if you have time for that or by all means or at least during your interview process be vocal like saying hey it's like yeah you go with through the implementation as you go but there's definitely ways to improve it and even as a developer you do like sometimes you just brute force implement the kind of raw implementation or even sell the code uh, implementation that quote unquote works but and after that you most probably will uh, would like to have few rounds of optimization refactoring just make sure it's kind of repurposable because in this case again this function uh, just in general wouldn't be the best if we will change the numbers here so again you will basically need to rewrite kind of half a code uh, or even copy paste a bunch of them so but yeah going uh, with this let's see uh, if we what we can do here so we get uh, uh, let's run with eight so we did this and let's do also cases seems to be all correct so let's go with submission again we will speed up most probably and again ignore the timing because again it was holding on pause while I had that call answered right so test case is completed so yeah and we got it so we have all uh, test cases uh, completed again timing as i mentioned no surprises yeah uh, so uh and interesting i don't know if uh, let's say your particular company and hiring a team will be uh, looking at this but again this is something that uh still a uh, peace of mind that uh that people uh, uh can do submit it faster so again, the whole implementation here, as I mentioned, it's not ideal from uh, scalability and maintenance, but at least uh, it's resolved and have uh, this non-special uh, implementation that you can easily transfer to most probably any languages and any environments out there. Okay, so again, it was a coin that uh, determiner, a uh, medium challenge from a coder byte. If you have anything else to see, any languages, any other challenges, just let me know. Please like and subscribe. See you next one. Thank you. Bye.